Aaron, Apple TV Plus is giving some of us a second chance. Hey. So it's re-releasing its Academy Award-nominated film, Coda, in select theaters around the country. Unfortunately, when I say some, that some does not include the Twin Cities. We're not on the list. What? Luckily for us, we can still watch this movie on Apple TV+. Plus. Or, you know, Chicago's not too far away, if you might be in Chicago for a weekend trip. It's happening again. Cube Critics. I'm really excited this week because the season finale of Euphoria is airing on Sunday. That's right. Oh my gosh. It's been such a hectic season. (laughs) Yeah. So for people who are not familiar with Euphoria, it's a teen drama on HBO. It's starring Zendaya as a teenager named Rue who's struggling with opioid addiction. And oh my gosh, I love this show And I hate this show, Aaron. Have you seen it? I have seen it. And Sam, I'm going to tell folks, you're underselling it. It's not a teen drama. It's the teen drama (laughs) because it's all anybody can talk about. It's all over Twitter. It's all over everywhere because everybody is obsessed with the show and all of the feelings it gives you. There's really a lot of feelings. Like I, I describe Euphoria to people as Euphoria is everything dialed up to 11. It's a harrowing portrait of drug addiction and how it can tear someone's life apart. It's also a teen soap opera. Like imagine if the OC had like a really, really astronomical budget and took itself way too seriously. That's kind of Euphoria. I think that the second season, I, I watched it all from the beginning. Beginning. I think the second season is a lot more uneven than the first. The writing's kind of all over the place. It's really neglected some of the characters who's shown in season one. But at its best, it can be really incredible. It has some of the best acting you'll see on TV. Zendaya is amazing. Her co-stars Hunter Schaefer and Sydney Sweeney, I really think are some of the best actresses of this generation. So I don't really recommend this show without a lot of caveats, but it's one I cannot stop watching. And you know, on Sunday, I'm going to be tuning in and I might even try one of those rhinestone eye makeup looks. I totally feel that. I know the show is going to look great uh, and I'm pretty sure you're going to look great. Uh, with the oh, rhinestones. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a great Sunday for you. So, you also watch something that is streaming now. Tell but, us a little bit about this new comedy special by Ali Wong. Yeah, I saw Ali Wong's third comedy special, Don Wong. It, it's a pretty strong uh, third stand up special, uh, mainly because for a lot of comedians and also rappers, strangely enough, there comes a point where like their work talks about how famous they are. And that's usually like a dip in quality. But for, Don, uh, but for Ali Wong and Don Wong, Uh, We don't see that. She delivers in this really great way and she gives us some like a really great irreverent and like a like biting takes on what it means to be like a really powerful woman, especially one that has a family and is a mother. It's really, really good. Pretty blue, but not as blue or less blue than her previous specials. So I, I, I think a lot of people should check it out and just to just to see about all of the great things that she can now complain about now that she knows that she's a, a celebrity, a, a famous comedian. I love Ali Wong, so I'm really excited about this one, and I think I'll have to add it to my weekend watch list. Definitely check it out. 